Hello, hello. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Bookie Style Cook uh, on board the boat. สวัสดีค่ะ Today we are at Marseille, uh, the fisherman town of uh, France in the Provence, and uh, Marseille is the birthplace of bouillabaisse or the fisherman soup. And today I'm going to show you how I make this soup. Follow me. Right, I got this beautiful fish, a uh, variety of beautiful fish from the market. Uh, there are some rock fish, some white fish, and a uh, uh, ray as well. And also, I got this beautiful uh, vegetable that's going to go into our stock. Um, leek, celery, uh, tomato, onion, carrots, and some herbs, bay leaf, and thyme as well. While I'm preparing um, all the ingredients, also, oh, I forgot to tell you, we need a lot of garlic as well with this soup. While I'm preparing this uh, vegetable and fish, why don't you go to have a look at what I did yesterday? Do you know what we are We are is the fisherman. So in the old day, uh, the fishermen, when they go out to do fishing, uh, they cook on the way back, uh, like slowly cook this soup, but we're going to try to do it in a bigger time. inside the restaurant Michel in Marseille and uh, this place has been open since 1946 and they are well known Don't to have this um, 20, bouillabaisse. 20 minutes for it. This one is bouillabaisse, mm -hmm. rockfish and for you the sole. So, okay. yeah, rockfish. So, rock that fish. order rockfish. Red gardener, conger eel, oh. spider fish, mm -hmm. so, for bouillabaisse, okay? Yeah. Thank you. And the sole for the grill. Thank you. That's perfect. So you saw the ingredient that going into our our bouillabaisse. So it's going to be a rock fish going into this uh, super delicious fisherman food. These are the rui, which is like kind of mayonnaise. So I only uh, one with the garlic and one with the tomato saffron. And also, I have a sneak and peek on the photo of the celebrity or well-known people that ate here before. One of them is Picasso. And I spotted uh, Michael Douglas and uh, who is oh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Zeta-Jones as well. <laughs> Oh. What happened to you? 
So it's the selection of the variety of rockfish in here, and they serve separately with the uh, concentrate fish stock and some of the aioli. And the crudo. Well, <laughs> so we're in France. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that Eddie is here. <laughs> so we're in France. This is base. It's beautiful, traditional, French. I need a beard and a bit of a tan. <laughs> Mm. How is it? Fantastic. Fantastic. Beautiful flavor. You should come here. Michel, tomorrow. Make your date. <laughs> mm. It tastes really, really nice. I can't wait to have a go at making this when I'm back on the boat. Red mullet. Beautiful red mullet. So we're going to fillet the fish and keep the bone to do the stock. Beautiful tomato. It's going in. The prep is done and um, you don't need to be like some neat and careful with getting the uh, fillet of fish off the bone because of uh, the bone will give us a, such a juicy, yummy stuff um, and it will go all go in making this booyah best anyway. Fish meat, fish bone and vegetable. Let's get started. Going to put a little bit of olive oil in, my onion in, and then celery. Sweat it down. Carrot as well. Bit of leek. So I use uh, one large onion, about two or three carrots, uh, medium side, and about 100 gram of uh, leek. So you sweat this vegetable down slowly. On the about uh, on the medium heat, mm. add a bit more oil. Just as I as I need it a bit more because of the vegetable is quite a lot here. Enough of uh, butter. This is going to make the base of your bouillon base delicious. Are we on the show power? <laughs> Let's check that we're on the show power cooking. Yeah. Now normally when I cook on board the Swati Cat, um, when we're traveling we use a lot of solar power but today we're in the marina so we use the shore power. Add the garlic. 
click in. I use about four cloves of garlic. It's actually the fisherman soup. Um, in the old day, uh, the fishermen, when they're traveling out and uh, coming back in, they just like throw the fish that they don't want or they can't sell it in the market. They just like throw it in the, the soup pot and then just slowly cook on the way back into the pot. And this is uh, like the originate of Puyo Bears. Slow cook fish soup. Going to add some tomato in as well. Mmm, and some bay leaf. I'll probably put three in. Why not? It's going to be quite a big pot. And some time. Some time. Spend some time. <laughs> I put the uh, stick in the soup, stick it too. So wet it down a bit more. And next, we're going to add some saffron in. Mm. And tomato puree. And then fish bowl. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, glorious flavor going into the pot. in Marseille, Provence area of uh, France. I got herb de Provence, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on about half of the teaspoon. And of course, we can't forget to add some white wine. No, no, sorry. Can I have perno? I, I forgot. I forgot perno. Got to add some perno in as well. <laughs> going to add some perno, add some perno in and this is going to give out the smell and aromatic uh, and the taste of um, fennel and uh, licorice as well. Okay, now add some white wine in and let's cook it down a bit more. And now we just add some more hot water into the soup. And let it cook down for about another 20 minutes. Right. Now the soup, the fish and the vegetable have been cooked down very nicely. All the goody, all the uh, flavor is in this stock now. So we're going to um, remove it from the heat and then uh, we're going to blend it first. Hang on, let me just get myself straight. Uh, technical error. So once you blend it, we just going to strain it. Right, 
So strain it down and then we're going to push our fish in this stock. Right, now the soup is done, uh, but we're going to put the fish fillet back into the soup. But before I do that, I'm just going to do something with this to give it a little bit of the color. We don't always like uh, the fish skin, so it's quite nice to turn the fish skin into like a little bit more crispy to it. So we're going to put this fish in to blanch in the stock in the soup for probably about two or three minutes. Don't overcook it. Okay, now it's time to have fun to plate up this bouillabaisse. And uh, I prepare my plate bowl, not plate, bowl. And uh, we're just going to put some soup in first. And some fish. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. I'm just going to layer it so we know what we put into the soup of the fish that we filleted earlier. And a bit of gooey cheese. A bit of charm on top. And look at this. I made my toast in the heart shape. And then you have this soup with um, brie, the garlic saffron mayo. And there you have it. And there you have it. Bookie style bouillabaisse in Marseille, Provence. Looks like I've arrived just in time. Oh! You finished from cleaning the rope then. Yeah. <laughs> right, you can have this first. I brought the wine. Okay then. Here you are. Thank you, it looks very nice. Yeah, you can have that first. I'll make another one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Let's enjoy We Are Best in Marseille. Mm. Bookie style on board. So at the cat. If you like our video, please subscribe and like as well and if you want to see more of us sailing the boat uh, then go on to swatdicat.com or the youtube channel swatdicat